Hi guys, Goose here and you're watching The Guitar Show. In September 2007 when Gary Moore was interviewed, he was asked if it was a difficult decision to let go of the famous Peter Green Les Paul guitar. Peter Green had sold the guitar to Gary Moore in 1974 for the price that Gary got for selling his Gibson SG guitar, which was his main guitar at the time. Apparently, Gary Moore had wanted the guitar very badly and had pestered the far from well Peter Green to sell it to him, which Green eventually did. Now, according to guitar player Phil Harris, who was a friend of Gary Moore's, he says there was a suggestion that part of the deal had been that if Peter Green ever wanted the guitar back, Gary would sell it to him. But Phil insists that Gary told him had Green ever asked for it back, the answer would have been no. Gary used this guitar extensively over the next three decades, playing the instrument on such hits as Parisian Walkways. When Gary was asked, why did you let it go? Gary replied, it's a long story. The instrument itself was a very special instrument, obviously, but it got to the point where I couldn't take it anywhere. I didn't want to sell it. I had to sell it for various reasons, but mainly because I injured my hand a few years ago and the insurance didn't pay up. I cancelled shows and had to cover tour costs with my own money and didn't get paid for any of the shows. I ended up with debt, so it was a financial thing. And that was the quickest way to do anything about it. I mean, why would I want to sell it? That guitar was played by Jimi Hendrix and Jeff Beck. Rory Gallagher played it. I played it. It was a very special instrument. So Gary sold this guitar in 2006 for somewhere between $750,000 and $1.2 million, according to various reports online. It was purchased by Phil Winfield at Maverick Music and was later put up for sale on the company's website for $2 million. Now, some other sources state that Gary actually only got £300,000 for the Peter Green Les Paul, and it was a discreet sale to a collector before it ended up with Maverick Music. Then, somehow, the buyer dropped out and the Maverick Music boss bought it outright. And as a result, Gary was very unhappy about this turn of events. Gary had put out a statement on his website in July 2003, which read... Due to Gary's hand and tendon injury not responding to further extended detailed treatment, the remaining summer festival shows are all cancelled. Now another reason why Gary Moore may have uh, felt the need to sell this guitar is explained by Phil Harris again. Phil says, Gary suffered financially, doing a lot of tours just to put food on the table. He wasn't financially rewarded like some others. Ask yourself, would he have sold the family silver? which is what the Peter Green Les Paul was, if he didn't have to. No, he wouldn't. He had a 58 standard, two 59s, a 57 gold top, and he ended up with one Les Paul out of the lot, Stripe, which is what he died with. But he wouldn't have sold that Peter Green one unless he had to. Another reason why Gary felt he may have needed to sell this guitar was that he had to fight two separate court cases in Germany from musicians, both claiming that the riff for Still Got the Blues had been ripped off from them. He won one, but lost the other. There was a feeling of bias at these court cases, as these were brought by German musicians in the German court. Still Got the Blues single reached 31 in the British singles charts in May 1990. One of these cases had been going on for about four years prior to the final outcome. So the court in Munich said that the solo of Moore's song was too similar to that of Nordrak by the band Judd's Gallery even though this German song was not available on record at the time. In a statement, the court ordered Gary and his record label to pay damages to the band leader, Georges and Winter, who brought the case. Gary had denied knowing the song, which the court said could only have been heard live or on the radio at the time. The court said it had no evidence that the solo had been lifted deliberately, but this was immaterial in copyright infringement. The German song was not actually released until the year 2000, which was well after when Still Got the Blues was released in 1990, although the German song was said to have been composed back in 1974, although it was performed live and live on radio. So guys, I'm going to leave this German song in the description so you can have a listen to that and also you can compare it to the YouTube link of Still Got the Blues. And guys, let me know in the comments if you think that Gary copied this song or not. Do you think that Gary Moore heard this band whilst he was touring in Europe, which he often did, and maybe heard them perform this song and then use that as an inspiration? Or do you think it's just an unlucky coincidence?
So guys, I personally think that Gary Moore sold the pedigree in Liverpool due to a variety of reasons, one of which was the court case that he lost in Germany, and another was a cancellation of the tours. And probably alongside this was the mounting cost to insure the actual guitar, which was probably pretty hefty by all accounts. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because next up is Gary Moore's history of his guitars. This is Goose signing out. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys.